Okay, um, in analytical geometry, um, there's this special point that we call the point of intersection. So it's basically where non-parallel lines meet, right? So let's look at these two lines. So if you take a look at these lines, let's maybe call this, <coughs> this line, let me write on it. Let me just write on a different slide. So let's say this red line is l equation one, or line one rather. And then the black line, we're gonna call this equation number two. So the first equation or the first graph, graph number one and graph number two or straight line number two, they are intersecting at this point. Let's call it maybe A, right? Let's call it A. So in analytical geometry, this is one of the, the points that you should know how to calculate, right? So there's different methods for finding the point of intersection. Um, there's several methods. You can either use the graphical method, right? If your, your graph is drawn to scale, you can just read off the coordinates from the graph, like this one, like this one, like this one. So I have a minus five, it's minus six. Um, and then we also have a minus one, two, three, minus three. So the coordinates for A, they could be a minus six and a minus three, right? Remember, I drew this, okay? I drew this. And um, due to the adjustment of the dimensions or adjustments of the grid right um, and me drawing the lines could actually affect um, the actual positions for the coordinates um, that you see on the sketch so um, I haven't done any calculations to, uh, to, to, to find the coordinates for, for A so we're gonna find out we're gonna find out through other means of finding a point of intersection so the graphical method is one of the the methods that you can use for finding or identifying a point of intersection. So you can just read it off the, the graph, but we're gonna confirm if the coordinates are correct through other means of calculation. So the second method would be um, solve, solve the equations of the lines simultaneously, would be to solve equations simultaneously right you can either solve them simultaneously through the substitution method substitution through the substitution method or you can use the elimination method elimino not lme elimination method right elimination method I just shown you how you can find the coordinates of a point of intersection by reading off the graph right so this should be um, um, this method works best if the um, the graphs are drawn to scale okay so but for this for the other means of um, calculations the substitution method and the elimination method so this is us solving the equation simultaneously to get the um, coordinates for the point of intersection so for this recording I'm only gonna focus on this one the substitution method the substitution method so we're gonna find the point of intersection. So this is the most common one, right? The most common one um, in getting your point of intersection. So I'm gonna do this. Don't forget the coordinates that we got here. It's minus six and minus three. So let us find the point of intersection by solving the equations simultaneously through the substitution method. Sub substitution method through the substitution method um, here we go okay so I have two 
of the equations for the two lines that are intersecting at point A. So I have 11y that is equal to 10x plus a 20. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. 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 Plus a 27. Um, so this is our first equation, right? So for this video, I'm just going to assume that you, you know your algebra, like you know how to solve for equations, right? So the substitution method, um, you need to have an equation or create one equation where one of the variables is a subject of the formula. So that happens to be equation number two. Okay, so that happens to be equation number two. So we're going to use the equation number two. We're going to say substitute equation number two into equation one. Equation one. So I'm going to go to equation one, which is this equation, um, 11y, 10x plus a27. So where does y? I'm going to substitute this. Right, so I'm gonna say y open bracket. Where does y? I'm gonna substitute the three minus three over two x minus twelve and equate this to a ten x plus twenty seven. Then we're just gonna do the work and say minus il minus il okay eleven times the negative three over two. That's negative thirty three over two x minus then the 11 we're gonna multiply by the minus 12 the 11 multiplied by the negative 12 gives us a minus 1 3 2 equal to 10 x plus 27 so we transpose the x we now have a negative 33 over 2 x minus 10 x and then we transpose the one the negative 1 3 2 it becomes a positive one three two so we now have a negative 33 over 2 then minus 10 answer it's negative 53 over 2 X equal to 27 plus 132 gives us a 159 then I'm gonna have to solve the value for X so I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 2 over 53. That's, um, that is the multiplicative inverse of this coefficient for x. Or you can just divide by the negative 53 over 2 on both sides of the equation. Over 53. So this cancels this, this cancels this. I'm now left with a positive 1. So x becomes 159 multiplied by a minus 2 over 53 I'm getting a minus 6 check check okay now let's calculate y right so since I have the value for x I can just say let us substitute x into equation number 2 into the second equation so where does x on that second equation I'm gonna substitute um, a negative 6 so I have an x next to the negative 3 over 2 coefficient so where there's x I'm gonna substitute the minus 6 minus 12 then y becomes negative 3 over 2 open bracket minus 6 minus 12 negative 3 I am getting a negative 3 check so the graphical method checks out so yay 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 yes yes and yes um, so it turns out that um, my sketch my graphs are drawn to scale right so the graphical method worked and now the substitution method has worked you know what you know what I'm also gonna do the elimination method right the elimination method so I'm gonna say elimination method 
the elimination method can be used in the following manner now I have two equations one I mean 11 y equal to 10 x plus a 27 this is equation one and then I have a 11 I mean what am I saying okay I have a y that is equal to a minus 3 over 2 x minus 12 equation number 2 so the idea with the elimination method um, when it comes to solving simultane equations simultaneously is to try to eliminate one of the variables by making their coefficients the same okay so I'm looking for a number um, let's say maybe I, I wanted to eliminate say maybe the y variable right I'm looking for a number right I'm looking for a number that I, ca that I can multiply equation number two specifically the y variable I'm looking for a number that I can multiply the y variable in the second equation such that um, the coefficients now become the same okay let me repeat let me repeat I'm saying for the elimination method what you are trying to achieve the first thing you would like you, you 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 have to achieve is eliminating one of the variables either x or y so I'm saying for this equation this set of equations you are looking for a number right I, I think e y y is the easiest variable to eliminate in this instance so you're gonna look for a number that you can multiply the y with um, so that you get the coefficients next to the y the same as the coefficient on equation one right you can also do the same with x you are looking for a number that you can multiply this 10x with or this minus n this minus 3 over 2x with so that you get the coefficients the same so hence I'm saying dealing with the y it's gonna be easy eliminating the y it's gonna be easy how do I know you're gonna take the second equation and multiply it by 11 so y multiplied by 11 gives us what 11 y equal to so for the second equation oh, okay okay so we said equation take equation 2 multiply by y I mean by 11 so you're gonna take the 11 multiply the y we get a 11 y take the same 11 and multiply the right hand side as well so it means for the right hand side you're gonna have a negative 33 over 2x and then take the same 11 and multiply negative 12 with you're gonna get a negative 132 132 right so this is your equation 2 with 11 multiplied with right so we're gonna also take equation 1 and write it just below the new equation can you see now that the the y variables have the same or a similar coefficient right so how do I perform the elimination process now I'm gonna take this equation and that equation this equation and this equation I'm gonna subtract them because 11y subtract another 11y gives us what a 0 and then a negative 33 over 2x minus a 10x I'm subtracting the two equations because it allows me to eliminate y so negative 33 let me do this um, here so it's a negative 33 over 2 minus 10 or subtract 10 gives me a minus 53 over is it 2 yeah it's 2 x minus 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 a negative 132 minus 27 gives me a negative 159 now I can calculate x but I'm gonna take this over to the other side so it becomes a positive 53 over 2x equal to minus 159 so again 
I'm gonna do the ma okay this time instead of multiplying by the multiplicative inverse how about we just do it this way divide both sides by the 50 5 3 over 2 so this cancels this X now becomes it should be a minus 6 but let's check so it's a minus 159 and then you're gonna say 53 over 2 answer it's a negative 6 so this is our x value right this is our x value um, which is a negative 2 then you can either use equation 1 or 2 to work out what y is so it's gonna be a 11 y I'm gonna use the first one then for the x I'm gonna substitute a minus 6 plus a 27 so let's calculate 10 minus 6 plus a 27 I'm getting a minus 33 so 11 y is equal to a minus 33 then we're gonna divide both sides by 11 cancel cancel then y becomes a negative 3 so this confirms our a um, the point of intersection um, that we have done through the graphical method the substitution method and the bonus <laughs> the bonus method the elimination method um, I hope you got some value out of this discussion um, check the description box for more recordings I have done for the um, that I have done for the analytical geometry um, topic okay if you have any questions let's talk in the comment section for now signing out peace